All right, we're back in the Mosquito again today. This time we're fighting the Anton. So we'll have to see how we go. Okay, let's see if we can turn fight him. And if I can't, I'm gonna try and put some distance between us and then probably turn around and go head on if possible. Might have to dive down there between the clouds, but we'll see. Oh no, lost visual. Oh no, he's right there. Okay, let's go around once more. We should put the rudder trim back to about neutral. That's going to increase our top speed when we dive. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to outturn him up here, so I'm going to dive down, down there between the clouds. Oh. Okay, pull back on the throttle. Don't want to overheat the engines too much. I'll keep the uh, coolant flaps open. That'll, of course, help with cooling of the engines as we descend. We'll go really, really fast here. Doing almost 400 miles an hour. Right, so where is he? He should be back here somewhere. There he is. Okay. Yep, he's, he's coming down. Coming down uh, behind us. So we'll go a bit further. Okay, there's 480 mile an hour. This is pretty bloody fast. Right, coolant flaps close. Where is he? I don't see him anymore. Okay, I guess I guess we'll have to turn around very, very gently at this sort of speed. We could easily tear the wings off, so need to be very careful. Can I see him again? Where is he? Oh, I see him. There he is, visual. Oh, he's turning away. Okay, this is good. Throttle up. Come on. Not a good move to disengage. Although maybe maybe he was at risk of overspeeding, as we kind of were. We maxed out the speedo. Oh, do you look at this? <laughs> I'm getting ready to put the flaps down. I'll put the flaps down about 10 degrees. There we go. Like the like was advised in the advice I received in the comments of the previous video, which was pretty handy. I also find that having the uh, coolant flaps off allows us to turn a little bit better before we get some buffeting. Because if you have them down, you get a lot of buffeting. Oh, look at this. Are we actually going to shoot down the Anton? <laughs> Oh, this is going to be great. Okay, just need to line up a shot. How is that? How? What? Okay, I don't know. They they missed, obviously. Decent hits. Well, not all that many. Oh, man, the mosquito could actually dogfight. <laughs> that is so much fire. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is thick. That is... Check out this. That is so thick. All that oil and smoke. And then there's that greeny stuff, which is fuel. That is insane. I was bailing out. <laughs> I have never seen so much damage and it was caused by an aircraft that kind of isn't a dogfighter but can be fought in a dogfight against a 190A <laughs> that was absolutely insane <laughs> Oh, the mosquito. Absolutely magnificent. And our temperatures and pressures, or temperatures rather at least, are all doing pretty good. Well, that was absolutely fantastic. I've never seen so much smoke. <laughs> never seen so much damage. That, Damn, that was insane. This thing is fantastic. I really appreciate the advice I got. Uh, in the comments of the previous video advising me to put rudder trim 
to neutral and then you know, muck around with the cooling flaps as well close them for more speed and stuff and then flaps down 10 degrees for cornering it's like hey that's that's good that works very well what am i doing flying around in circles yeah anyway uh, that was the mosquito versus 190a next time we're going to go up against the 190d so we'll have to see if i can do the same thing then anyway i'll catch you next time